Welcome to Sports Guy Talking. I am Dustin Tran, your host, as I am here today to talk about the Eagles losing both coordinators in Shane Steichen and Jonathan Gannon. The Indianapolis Colts hired Shane Steichen to be their new head coach. Meanwhile, the Arizona Cardinals hired Jonathan Gannon to be their new head coach. Before I say anything else, though, I want to present you guys with a topic question. So, here it is. What is your reaction to the Eagles losing both coordinators? And my response to that, quite frankly, varies. If you're talking about the offensive coordinator job, that's a tough pill to swallow for the Philadelphia Eagles. Shane Sykes is a really good coach. He was one of the top candidates on the market. The Colts are honestly blessed to have him. And quite frankly, that was a major step forward that the Indianapolis Colts needed to take because they were on the verge of hiring Jeff Saturday out of all people to be their head coach. Jeff Saturday was a terrible head coach as the interim head coach of the Indianapolis Colts. He went 1-7. and And more importantly, he blew the biggest lead that an NFL team ever had in NFL history. He blew a 33-point lead to the Minnesota Vikings. He only won one game, which was against the Josh McDaniels led Raiders speaking of the Josh McDaniels led Raiders he probably should have been fired considering the poor job that he did on the Raiders so getting Shane Steichen if you're the Indianapolis Colts is a good get he's a modern day coach he knows how to develop quarterbacks he knows how to make a good offense work in the Indianapolis Colts they need to develop quarterbacks and they need to make an offense work effectively the Indianapolis Colts right now hold the fourth pick they don't have a franchise quarterback on the board yes they have a quarterback theoretically speaking but they're not very good so that means that they need to go ahead and draft a quarterback maybe then get a Will Levis or an Anthony Richardson I would assume that Shane Steichen he would want to have a mobile quarterback because that's what made him successful on the Philadelphia Eagles with Jalen Hurts although I could say that getting CJ Stroud if he's available at pick four would certainly be a massive get if you're Shane Steichen in the Indianapolis Colts and he can't work with pocket passers because Shane Steichen he's been a successful coach almost everywhere that he's been. You look at what he did on the Eagles with Jalen Hurts, obviously, then you look at his work that he did on the Chargers, not just with Justin Herbert, but with Phillip Rivers. Phillip Rivers played some of his best ball late in his career because of Shane Steichen. And for Shane Steichen to develop both Justin Herbert and Jalen Hurts in this draft class, that's pretty incredible. So the Indianapolis Colts absolutely hit a home run. Is there a risk in hiring Steichen if you're the Colts? Yes, because Shane Steichen, he doesn't have a ton of experience. And quite frankly, a lot people just don't seem to know much about Shane Steichen but I think that was a risk worth taking for the Indianapolis Colts and I think this is a tough loss for the Philadelphia Eagles because he played a major role in the success of Jalen Hurts he honestly might have played a bigger role in the success of Jalen Hurts more so than Nick Sirianni did to be honest although to be fair Nick Sirianni and Shane Steichen they go hand in hand together so obviously that's a tough loss for the Philadelphia Eagles now let's talk about the defensive coordinator job that the Philadelphia Eagles now just opened up Jonathan Gannon he got hired by the Arizona Cardinals he's the defensive coordinator for them or was and honestly this is probably a positive that the Eagles are losing this defensive coordinator and I understand that this defensive coordinator did a great job building a championship caliber defense in the Philadelphia Eagles until the Super Bowl but let's be honest is he going to have that much talent on the Arizona Cardinals to work with no, he's not going to have that much experience to work with. Who does he have on the Arizona Cardinals that he could build around the defensive side? Buda Baker? Isaiah Simmons? Outside of those two players, who do the Arizona Cardinals really have that might scream star or superstar one day on the defensive side of the ball? Remember, he's a defensive coach, so you want a guy that if you're hiring on defense you want to be able to get stars on the defensive side of the ball and they don't have stars that they can build around so i'm not liking this hire for the arizona cardinals if you're the arizona cardinals you certainly have to be asking yourselves why didn't you hire eric bmd and i understand that this story is getting old that it's been three four years old that eric bmd hasn't gotten a head coaching job and obviously there's something not going right in these interviews or something's not going on maybe there's racism i don't know but jonathan again how could you possibly hire him why? Why would you hire him, Arizona Cardinals? Because let me tell you, the Arizona Cardinals, their offense is a mess right now. I mean, they got Kyler Murray, but he's hurt right now. And they need to figure out how to get Kyler Murray to play some of his best ball. Because clearly, he's not a guy that can carry a franchise on his back. And outside of Kyler Murray, they don't really have a ton of talent on that team. Because A.J. Green just retired. It looks like DeAndre Hopkins is about to get traded from the Arizona Cardinals. This hiring is just a mess. And this honestly was a horrible hire for the Arizona Cardinals. I think that this guy is going to end up being... Steve Wilkes 
of this coaching cycle. And what I mean by that is that remember when Steve Wilkes got hired in 2018 by the Cardinals, he got hired late by them. I think he ended up sucking in his one year as a coach. I think this is what's going to happen to Jonathan Gannon. I think he's a career coordinator. I don't think he has head coaching material in him. I'm not liking this hire for the Arizona Cardinals whatsoever. And who's to say he was actually even a good defensive coordinator for the Eagles? I mean, anybody could have looked good, quite frankly, when you got Fletcher Cox, you got Brandon Graham, you got Hassan Reddick, you got Sweat, you got Hargrave, you got Gardner Johnson, you got Darius Slay, and you got James Bradbury. Yeah, I know that he held on the final play, but he was a good corner for most of the year. Does he get to carry that with him? I don't think Jonathan Gann gets to carry most of that roster, or any of it, with him to the Cardinals. So when you look at it from that perspective, very uninspiring for the Cardinals. But let's get back to talking about the Eagles. So who are some candidates that could replace Shane Steichen? Okay, so i am got up with five candidates. Brian Johnson, he's the Eagles quarterback's coach. Obviously, he's played a huge role in the relationship between him and Jalen Hurts. I'm pretty sure Jalen Hurts is going to be advocating for him. And I think he will get the job. I think he should get the job. He's done a great job with Jalen Hurts. And if you want continuity, go ahead and hire Brian Johnson. Also hire him as well because he's black. And why do I say that? Because if Brian Johnson gets promoted to OC and he gets a head coaching job within the next year or two or something like that, that means the Eagles are going to receive two third round picks for compensatory picks, which means that the Eagles get to gain some draft capital if you end up building up this guy's resume. So I think they should go ahead and hire him. But if you don't want to hire him because you, you just don't feel like promoting a quarterback's coach, you could go to Kevin Patillo. He's the Eagles offensive pass game coordinator. The Eagles passing game was pretty good this past season. So if you feel like you want to promote him to a higher role, go ahead and do that. And some outside options to look at potentially, you got Joe Brady, Bill's QB coach, Obviously, we know the work that he's done with Joe Burrow back at LSU. I know his Carolina days didn't go so well, but considering the fact that Matt Rule was his head coach, you know what? He might have actually been pretty successful considering that Matt Rule was absolute garbage without him. Then you look at how he's done a great job with Josh Allen this year as a QB's coach. So I think Joe Brady's got to be a potential option for the Philadelphia Eagles. Then you got Marcus Brady. He's the former OC for the Indianapolis Colts. I mean, he was fired by Frank Reich, but maybe he has some connections. Maybe through Frank Reich, Nick Sirianni, maybe they could go ahead and hire him. Just give him a job. And then another guy that's potentially on the list is Pep Hamilton. He's the former offensive coordinator of the Houston Texans. No, it's not official that he's not coming back, but it seems like he's not going to come back. And why did I list with Pep Hamilton, even though he hasn't done a good job for them? Well, maybe he can be a stopgap offensive coordinator until the Eagles can find a better one. So those are just some candidates that I came up with with the Eagles OC job. But if I was Nick Sirianni, I would go ahead and promote Brian Johnson to Eagles QB coach. Now you look at the candidates for the Eagles defensive coordinator job, certainly less notable names. Let's talk about Darnar Wilson. He's the Eagles pass game defensive coordinator for them, and he's also the defensive backs coach. The Eagles pass defense was pretty elite for most of the year, minus the Super Bowl. So if you want continuity in the coaching staff, you go ahead and promote him. Another guy that he could potentially go with is Tracy Rocker. He's the Eagles defensive line coach. Obviously, the Eagles defensive line was amazing throughout the year. Third most sacks in NFL history if you include the postseason. If you want continuity, go ahead and hire him. Then if you want to look at some outside options, there's Jerron Mayo, Patriots linebackers coach. I understand that he just signed a contract extension with the New England Patriots, but if Jerron Mayo can get a well-paid job with the Philadelphia Eagles, I think he'd be wise to take that. So Jerron Mayo, he could be an outside option for them. And then of course, there's Vance Joseph. He's the Cardinals defensive coordinator. He just lost down the head coaching job to Jonathan Gannon. And quite frankly, Vance Joseph, he's not going to be a head coach anytime soon. He's going to be a career coordinator. If you're the Philadelphia Eagles and you're looking for a veteran defensive coordinator, you might want to go ahead and hire Vance Joseph. And then, of course, there's Vic Fangio. And I understand Vic Fangio technically already has agreed to be the Dolphins defensive coordinator, but he hasn't signed that yet. And he's saying, you know what, I might want to join this Philadelphia Eagles team. And if you're the Philadelphia Eagles, why not recruit Vic Fangio? who is the most qualified defensive coordinator you could absolutely find in the NFL to be your defensive coordinator. Vic Fangio, along with the talent that they have on the defensive side of the ball, that's going to be pretty impressive. Vic Fangio is certainly an outside candidate. He's the dark horse candidate that could end up getting this job. But honestly, if it was up to me, I would go ahead and hire Tracy Rocker as the defensive coordinator of the Philadelphia Eagles. He's the Eagles defensive line coach. Go ahead and give him a promotion. The defensive line has been amazing for the Eagles. So I think that should pay off with him being the defensive coordinator. So what am I stressing for mostly? Continuity. And by doing those hires that I just suggested for the Eagles OC and DC job, they both scream continuity and guys that truly earn the job. So Eagles OC job, I'm going to say that should be filled by Brian Johnson. And the Eagles 
defensive coordinator job that should be filled with Tracy Rocker. So that's what I'm going to say. So that is why it will be tough for the Eagles to lose Shane Steichen. Although they may end up being all right, if not even better with losing Jonathan Gannon. Remember, go ahead and subscribe to Sports Guy Talking. Like the video and please comment down below. If you guys do that, I may shout you guys out in my Instagram story every Monday. That will be for the at Dustin S. Tran Instagram account. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Dustin S. Tran and that sports guy talking. Also, go follow me on Twitter at Dustin S. Tran. Again, go ahead and do those things that I just told you guys to go do. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content that was just produced. Peace out. I hope you enjoyed that video. Want more Sports Guy Talking, the home of great sports content? Make sure you click that subscribe button to get the latest from Sports Guy Talking. Go ahead and like the video. Comment down below. Check the description box on the video in order to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.